I missed the news. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we arrived here at this strange villa, as well as the Sierra Madre, as it overlooks us up on that cliffside face. After thinking that we were going to get a nice little vacation from the war, only to turn out we've been hostilely forced to basically do a pseudo-futuristic version of Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Hardy har har, I see what you did there, Obsidian. Uh, we got two of our cohorts for the heist. We got, uh, Dog and, well, Dog and God and Christine. Uh, today we're gonna be going off to see if we can find the last of the people we need to recruit for the heist, and that is Dean Domino. His location is, uh, a bit south from here. but a little bit, uh, I guess you could say southeast, since we do need to go, like, that way, then go down here. Knowing my luck, we're probably going to be ambushed a whole lot during it, but before we do that, I want to go and talk to Christine. Just like a uh, dog, she actually has a perk you can unlock through dialogue, although hers is not as tedious to get as it would be for him. Dean also has one for himself, but that's something we're going to have to get much later. Many people have tried. I don't think that'll work. I mean, the Legion has tried so many times, and you know how that ended up for them. Alright, so before we talk to Christine, I want to make a mental note. Well, not really a mental note, a, an absolute note. You want to high, have at least 8 perception when you talk to her. My perception right now, I believe, is only at, it's either 5 or 6, it's at 5. So we need to up it a little bit. So I think I'm going to take this Abistein, Abistein, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to take uh, some Mentats. There we go. And now my perception is at 8. You want to have this if you want to get the best results for her. Christine raises an eyebrow. Every time I talk to you, it feels like I'm like reading a fan fiction. Those facial scars weren't done by the auto doc. The throat scar was. She nods slowly, then puts her hand in front of her throat, then closes it slowly, then points at you. I can't restore your voice. We'll need a real auto doc for that. She shivers slightly and shakes her head. I don't understand why they shaved you bald, though. Christine looks blankly at you, then touches her head, then smiles, then shakes her head. Wait, the auto doc didn't shave you? She waves her hand, then shakes her head, then and then nods in the direction of the casino. No, wait, I want to hear this. You were bald before? She nods with an exasperated look, then makes a circle with her hands, repeats it twice more, then raises her hand to the sky. She puts both hands in front of her, then makes a motion with her hands as if writing something. Now, this is actually something I didn't realize, and unless it was the failed recording that I did earlier, which kind of gives you the understanding of why I knew to have the eight perception to talk to her. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel, being inside it, actually has a purpose if you go into dead money. Basically, Christine is a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, so if you don't have the intelligence to pass the check for that, uh, your standing with them will basically pass it for you. So, you were a Brotherhood of Steel scribe? She nods. She looks impressed. How the hell did you get out here? She shrugs, then points at you, and shrugs. Were... You, 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 you were looking for something? She shakes her head, then makes a motion with two fingers walking. You were looking for someone... She nods and raises a finger. Uh, a man? She nods. She makes a motion with her hand around her chin, drawing it down, then, and then raises her hand and clenches it. An angry, bearded man. She points at your pit boy. The man of my pit boy, the holiday. You were looking for a vault boy. Uh, no, she was looking for Elijah. She nods, looks concerned, taps the side of her head, then expands her hand. Someone smart. She nods, then circles an ear. 
and nuts. She nods, frowns. Sounds like it's pretty important for you to find this person. She frowns, raises two fingers, and has them walk together. She looks down at the two fingers, and her face becomes angry. She then chops her hand down and draws the two fingers apart. One finger she points at herself. He cut you off from someone. She nods. The family? Husband? She frowns, shakes her head, and even more at husband. What, your wife? She shakes her head, but rolls it side to side. Oh, girlfriend. She hesitates, then waves her hand. You are more than girlfriends. Lovers? She nods and looks at you a little surprised. Almost as if I met her girlfriend. Almost as if we've been traveling together. And almost as if she keeps punching the things I'm trying to not get her to punch. What, you don't think I underst I don't understand love? She raises an eyebrow and looks at you. I understand how important a loved one can be. She nods slowly, studying you. She seems to be gauging you again. She makes slow circle motions at the moment and taps her wrists. Uh, a little more questions. She looks at you exasperated, then waves her hand in a circle in front of her. What was that, like her, her version of a loading screen or something? Uh, do you know how to get out of here? She points in the direction of the main gate, then points at your collar, shakes her head, then locks her hands around her neck. Then her hands lash outwards, fingers sprayed as she rolls her eyes back, and the second she turns her back and shakes something or whatever, her dialogue keeps going way too fast for me to read. Especially in this kind of voice. So, once the collars are gone, we can leave? She nods slowly, as if thinking that she raises an eyebrow, looks skeptical, then shrugs. She then points downwards, makes a circle around her, then back at the same spot, then her finger drifts. You're saying it'll be difficult to return here if we leave? She shakes her head, points at herself, then points at you, nods. To return here if I leave, she nods. But not you. She nods once. She looks at me, and I look at her, and she looks back at me, and I look back at her. Why can't I, she? Why can't you find your way back? She slowly shakes her head, then points to the ground, and then moves each leg outwards, standing in place where she points. You aren't going to leave. She nods. Are you trying to... Uh, so... Do, why would you want to stay here of all places? She frowns, makes a mock motion of loading the gun, then hefting it to her shoulder. Uh, she then pauses, makes a sweeping circle, and puts her arms around the circle around it, as if covering it. You want to kill something here, then protect this place. She looks impressed, nods. Why do you want to do that? She looks at you as if surprised, then glances at your collar, wrinkles her face, then points at it. She makes a wide sweeping circle of the area, looking around, then brings both hands back to her, then to her neck. Her hands still on her neck, she looks at you gravely, then shakes her head. You're worried someone's gonna find this place and use it to hurt people. She nods slowly, hands still locked at her throat. She looks pained for a moment, then she breaks from your gaze. Her fingers flutter almost frantically. For a second, she runs her hand along her scalp, then her throat. She points at your pit boy, almost with frustration, then gestures all around her, and her shoulders seem to sag. After the moment, she glances back at you, glances around her, then shakes her head slowly. You can't protect the world from the world. It's useless. She points at your collar, then at hers. She shakes her head slowly, then cuts the air with her hand, and her face becomes blank. All right, well, how did you end up in that auto dock? She moves a finger in a circle, frowns, then drags her hand down over her eyes. She raises them again. You were knocked out? She nods, raises an eyebrow, points at you, makes a circle, then points at your feet. Uh, you want to know how I got here? 
She smiles, nods. Well, I was gassed. She repeats the circling motion again. This time, she lowers her hand and circles her finger inwards. Uh, she's still pointing to the ground between you two. She raises an eyebrow. Uh, I could raise an eyebrow back just to be a sarcastic asshole to her. Uh, I followed a radio signal here, a woman's voice. She waits. After a second, she raises her eyebrow again. I wonder why they do it in the parentheses for her, but for mine, it's like the, the greater than, less than symbol. I don't remember what those symbols are called. I am uneducated as all hell. Um... Uh, I can't tell you why. I just did. I thought there was going to be a vacation. And that's why, kids, you should never click a pop-up ad. She looks at you for a second, studying you, then nods. She points at you, then points at the casino, then slowly shakes her head, then points into the direction of the main gate. If I could leave, I would. She looks at you for a moment, glances at your collar, shrugs, then lightly grabs your neck with both hands, holds it for a moment. Then her hands fall away. She looks at you and looks at the exit and nods. What about you? She slowly shakes her head, then points at the ground. Dog's hand, or I guess God's hand, has just been... The hand of God has been trying to reach her all this time as we have this immense conversation of me trying to understand a person who can't talk. Uh, you're not going to leave. She frowns, glances in the direction of the casino, then the exit, then back in the direction of the casino. She shrugs without a s the strength or conviction. She isn't looking at you when she does. Alright, a couple more questions and we can finally get out of here. Do you know what those machines around the villa are? Christine shakes her head, then pauses, then makes a small circle with her thumb and forefinger. She points at you, then makes a motion for putting something in her palm. Y y here's a Sierra Madre chip. I'll need that back, though. She examines the chip for a second, raises it to her eyes. She then turns it to its side, gauging its di diameter and width. She runs her finger over the surface slowly, checking the engraving. She then tosses the chip back at you. She then pretends to look around, sees something on the floor, and pretends to bend down, pick it up. She then looks at you and nods. You can... ground some more, somehow? She smiles, nods. She stands still for a second, then stops, then slowly makes the motion of bending down, scooping something up. She then holds the imaginary object in her hand, as if heavy, then puts it in front of her, as if on a table. She then hefts what looks to be a small box and pours it on the top of the object, looks like, and then reaches down. Uh, you can make more of those at a workbench with the right materials. She smiles, nods. I'm so sorry I'm doing terrible at reading this, her dialogue just goes way too fast. She points at your pit boy, then makes a motion for opening it up, then removes something from it. She then raises her hand, makes sure the motion of smashing it and holding up the remains. You need a battery, a fission battery, and scrap metal, and you can counterfeit the chips? She nods, impressed. She then points at you, then her, makes a circle. Can you teach me how to do it? She nods, then makes a series of hand motions represent the weight and amounts, even... So, you think you could. Alright, so, with that uh, dialogue options chosen, Christine has taught you the coin operator perk, allowing you to make zero mother chips, metal slugs, at workbenches using a fission battery and scrap metal. So, that's helpful if there's a way, if you're like a little low and you find some scrap metal and if you have a few fission batteries on you, you can make a, I think it's up to, it's either 20 or 200 chips out of the materials you get. Can't you communicate some other way? Can you write? Christine frowns, then pauses, and traces the scar over her head with her finger. She then makes a motion to picking up a pencil, tries to write, then shakes her head. Something to do with the surgery? She pauses, then draws a jagged symbol like electricity in the air, then puts an odd, staring face. She looks at the blank face for a moment, then slowly blinks around. She looks at her hands, shakes them. That's a scientific form of brain surgery using electrodes, pre-war. She nods slowly, then makes a motion for typing and drawing X's in line in the air, then gives a thumbs up. And it's also something I also didn't know. Mathrath also has a unique purpose in the DLC. Uh, you can still do math. That's good to hear. 
I only got Math Wrath because I thought it would be a helpful perk for using in vats. She nods, smiles. I uh, honestly, when I got it, I forgot that this, it actually had a purpose in Dead Money. All right, uh, just a few more questions. Uh, what weapons are you skilled at? We should get to know that before we decide to go adventuring with her. Christine draws a jagged lightning bolt in the air. Pantomimes throwing a grenade, then pulls an imaginary pin. She then moves her feet shoulder width apart, holds hands in martial arts stance, then turns both hands into pistols. She then holds one pistol up, takes aim and sliding along the barrel, and does a single shot, ends it. So basically, she's uh, good with energy weapons, explosives, melee, unarmed, and guns. Is that all? She nods once. Alright, so we know what to give her. Uh, uh, Christine is giving you the signal interference perk. This perk grants you a short period of time near a speaker before the bomb caller decides to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time your bomb caller detonates by 50%. That is actually pretty useful. God, what are you searching for? Wh what are you searching for in this life, God? If only you could tell me. So before we go off with Christine, I feel it's only right that we decide to give her a better means of defense. She, right now, only, I believe, just has a cosmic knife on her. Maybe it's just unarmed right now. I believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Well, what can you do? He's a, you're, you're a super mutant. Well, Nightkin, but they aren't the brightest bunch, as this game likes to say. Well, for the most part, especially in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. And I think even Fallout 2 at some points. Um, but right now, we are going to give Christine the knife spear that we picked up. Just It's a much better weapon. 19 damage, and she's profound with melee weapons, so it's only useful. Uh, we're also going to give her the Sierra Madre armor. It, it, she has like little to no damage threshold, so this armor will help keep her alive a little bit longer. God and Dog, I believe they do have a damage threshold... For their base characters, so I didn't really have to worry about them. Uh, is there anything I can pick up? Uh, you know what? I might as well pick up a few stim packs to go. I think four is good for now, and, and uh, maybe get a couple of bullets. Uh, five bullets. All right. So after that long ass uh, talking and pantomiming to Christine, it's time to finally go and find Dean Domino. And something tells me it's not going to go as easy as I would hope it would be. Uh, I might as well grab the chips here. I'm also going to try and do a little bit of exploration around the area just because there are some good good things hidden here if you know where to look. There's actually some... Actually, there's some things that are starting to be too good to be true. It seems to be there is a trail of Sierra Madre chips leading into this building. Something tells me... This isn't... Okay, to be fair, that actually scared me a little bit. I forgot some holograms actually, you know, have a function. The flickering hologram stares at you expectantly. Do you have anything I can buy? Alright, so you can actually buy stuff from the hologram here. He uh, has basically food, he has a couple stim packs, uh, some pre-war money, which is completely useless. Uh, energy cell, you know what? Oh, wait, I don't have any caps on me. Uh, actually... Do I have anything? Is the Magnum round? 308 round? Nah. You know what? Just one thing of energy cells is not really worth it. Unless... Eh. Just pre-war money. Ooh, vending machine code for the return outfit item. That's... I don't know what that is, but it sounds useful. In a suitcase, eh, just pre war money. I guess I'll take as soon as I say pre war money is useless. I forgot that vendors here actually trade use in the vending machines themselves, use uh, the chips. Oh, Christine, I hate that it's so dark here that you can barely see. Whoa, that is way too much cloud. Can I give it away? Nope. I ain't going through that. There is actually a way we can go through the cloud without having to suffocate as bad. But that's not going to be for a little bit more. Ooh, a stim pack. Who puts a stim pack in a refrigerator? Take that gr scrap electronics. Eh, I, I need scrap metal. Uh, ghost side, go cloud kiss. 
I can hear a ghost person breathing around here. Uh, weapons, weapons. Oh yeah, I, I need a clean cosmic knife if I want to superheat it. Uh, might as well go through this door. See where we're, oh, we're back uh, where we started. All comes full circle. There's to be something good in this metal chest if it's behind a hard lock, damn it. And I don't have my several hundred thousand bobby pins here. I only got 20 pins and 19 pins now. There we go. Just scrap electronics. Great. Completely useless. And of course there was a bobby pin here just to taunt me. So I guess we, we're back at the even 20. Let's see anything here. Uh, first aid box. I'll definitely take that. Uh, if I remember right, there is a... Uh, a Brexo cleaner, yes. Uh, dirty water, nah. I don't. I don't really need it. I got plenty of stem packs on me. I do want to know what that uh, red thing is over there because I'm a little unnerved by it. Oh, great! Man, he's fast. And he's dead. I think she, I think she sliced his head off. Uh, I'll take those throwing knife spears. That's for definite sure. Uh, should I take the knife spear itself? Nah. Why do I want a knife spear when I got a cosmic knife and also a bear trap fist where I can just punch people and have a bear trap clamp around them? It's so ridiculous and out of there. I love it. Is there anything I can... Uh, there's a vent machine over there. Nothing really. Is there any, like, buildings I can go into that I could get a couple... Ooh, what's this? Sierra Madre helmet. I will take that. I guess I could also give that to Christine. Uh, what's the condition of the helmet I just got? Not great. Eh, you know what? Let's give it to Christine. Give her a little bit more armor to go on. We'll give her the, we'll give her the weaker helmet for now. There, much better. You look like you're ready for battle. And something tells me battle is going to be coming to us any minute now. I saw that over there. What is hidden behind this counter? Oh, just some chips. I thought there was like a, a like a stash thing hidden there. But no, that was just marble. Anything in the garbage? Uh, junk food, I guess. I can, you know, every little bit helps. Ooh, what do we got over here? Scotch and shot glass. I'll take the scotch, though. What about over here? Ooh, nice. Uh, 20 gauge. Although, that, I don't know why I'm saying nice to a 20 gauge. 20 gauge sucks. Was that the good one? I don't remember. Let's grab you. Get some, get some cloud. And let's head off into the residential district. What was that? Oh, that's just a piece of the ghost guy. Onwards to adventure! Picking up signals near your location. Detonators. Watch for traps. Oh, great. As if I don't have enough to go off, off uh, on me. Mm. I don't trust you. Okay, now I think you're dead. Yeah, just a knife spear on me. I don't really need... Oh! That was a close one. Lock gate. Ooh. Do I want to go back there? Or should we continue on this way? Oh, choices, choices. Oop. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought so. This place is a trap filled nightmare. And had I not noticed that pressure plate, I would have taken two uh, shotgun shells to the side of my torso. Do I actually get to keep those shotguns as well? 9mm, 9mm... No, of course not. Why would I not want to disarm it and then just use the weapons that I just disarmed to, you know, better my predicament? We'll take out the stripwire, though. Someone could get hurt by this thing. Uh, what would that actually have led to? Was there, like, a grenade bouquet somewhere or something? Eh, who knows. 
Knowing my luck, it would have just been like a snap. Well, wait. There it is. I, that's why I was about to say it was like a something a sniper rigged up to shoot me in the head if I didn't realize that uh, thing was right there. More scrap electronics. What is this place with electronics? Oh, God. Ow. I think I don't see you up there. I think he sees me. Ghost Trapper. Uh, I don't think we've run into the Ghost Trappers yet. These guys, unlike the Ghost Harvesters, these guys usually either use explosive devices or the Bear Trap Fists. They are possibly even more dangerous than the normal Ghost guys are. Although not as badass looking. Oh, God. Someone could get hurt by this thing. Uh, you're doing good, Christine. Uh, just give me a minute. There we go. And of course. Why is someone just leave an empty crate in here? I didn't even know that you could check these nightstands. I'm going to give that a wide berth. Although there is something inside. Oh, that's just whiskey. Don't really need it. Oh, God. Ah, that's what I thought. I'll take that shotgun. Any, any other tricks you want to hide from me? Maybe, maybe rig up a fat man somewhere, just shoot a mini nuke into my face. See, this is why I am so observant. Oh, man, those chips down there are tempting, but I don't think that's the smart thing to do. I will take those magnum rounds, though. Uh-oh. Shit! Christine, are you okay? This is no time to go to bed. I think we have unwanted company. somewhere around here I think I think he's oh god that, that actually made me jump a little I wasn't expecting him to come right around the corner from that doorway Christine it'd be really nice if you could wake up and help me never mind I got him Christine Christine are you ever going to wake up? Hey, Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. Have a nice rest there. Don't worry. It's fine. After I just blew myself to the next area code and also got chomped in the face by a fist. Let's never experience that ever again. Would you agree? Of course, right below me, the little landy pad down not again! Why would everyone want to live here? Christine, are you okay? Oh, you're just fine. Mm. This just screams an ambush. Or Christmas. Or the... the... Dia de los Muertos? Someone judging me from the distance? I don't know. I mean, people do that all the time when they watch these videos, so I can't really complain. I'm, I'm used to it by now. Ooh. Yeah, this just screams, hey, w wanna get ambushed? Odd that there's just a, this huge empty area here. Oh, 
Oh god, where's that radio? I need to kill it. That tourist crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't, they still might. You know I can hear what you're saying, right? Damn it, I can't kill it! Hello, Dean. Have a seat, and then we'll talk. Uh, alright. Uh, Christine, watch my back. The Sierra Madre. Pretty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. Uh, okay. I want to make something really, really important right now. If you want to get the good ending to this DLC, I don't think it applies to the explosives check, but I'm just going to not do it because I really don't want all this hard work to go to waste. Whatever you do when it comes to Dean Domino, do not ever pass a check with him. Uh, basically, this guy has the most fragile ego of the world, basically. He's a performer, and don't they all? Um, but we need to just basically stay on his good graces for now. And hopefully we don't have to, you know, trade blows with each other as the story progresses. Uh, what are you talking about? Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in, it's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cheddy pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. Uh, you've got my... T uh, man, none of these sound like they're gonna be nice. Um, I'll save my questions for the end. Please go on. This sounds like the most respectful I am towards, uh, Mr. Domino. Also, could you please turn that radio down before the bots, uh, hound this video for unlawful use of copyright, even though it's completely lawful? And that's what I missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this country. But don't we all? And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Do not, I repeat, do not pass this barter check. Just, I'm, I'm just saying right now, it is a bad idea. I usually don't advise against passing a check, the barter one, do not do that. Um, I'm gonna cooperate. Uh, what do you want? Good, good. Then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. I'd rather be sent back to the war. Um, I'm in. That's all. Let's... Alright, uh, meet me at the fountain. Wait, wait. Wait just a minute. I'm not walking out there on my own. I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns, and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir here. And what a nice so little boudoir we go you together, have. Or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. All right, fine, let's get going. All right, all right, but you already got company, so tell you what, I'll meet you at the fountain. Well then, what was that whole spiel about you not wanting to go through this town by yourself, Dean?
Oh, there he goes. What was that whole... Uh, it's a bad idea to travel through this town alone. Ooh, 20 gauge. Dean? Uh... Christine, what have we gotten ourselves into? At least you look like you're somewhat ready for war. I don't think I am. Nope. That was weird. Uh, oh, more Brexo cleaner. Definitely gonna take that. Uh, and even more Brexo cleaner. If I can find another cosmic knife, and I did, probably shouldn't have uh, wasted the one I already had to repair the other one. This place is pretty clean. No sign of ghost people, and I, I, I guess this is just a fast way to bypass most of the cloud. Real good way to bypass most of the cloud. Wow. I guess while we're on our way back, if we can uh, pay a visit to that behind what's behind that locked gate. Whoa, what was it? Oh, that was just the the ghost trapper that I was I killed earlier. Man, so many things in this place get me so jumpy just because of how dark it is. You know what? I'm jump I'm paranoid enough to break out the heavy artillery. Also, I probably should turn the light back on. Whoop! It's a good thing I did. There's another ghost guy here, isn't there? Um can I get this? There we go. Take you, take you. Eat some mashed potatoes. Ooh, what do we have here? Seven of hearts for the Sierra Madre. That was it. All this for a playing card? Uh. Oh. I think Dean came through here. I mean, that, that door was... Oh, God! This, might, this is gonna end badly. Oh, we did it. We murdered an innocent civilian here. Something tells me there's something good hidden in that cloud. But the better part of me is going to just bypass it for now. I know that one of the gun upgrades are none of the gun upgrades are anywhere in here, so it makes sense to not go through it. The gun upgrades are really what I'm truly after. The stashes and stuff and the cards, it, it just really doesn't interest the, me that much. Ah, Damn, that ghost harvester made me jump because I thought he was alive and it just, like, spawned right in front of me! I think I might have stirred the hornet's nest. Well, we made it. Somehow. Christy? Christy? What are you doing? I don't know what you're waiting for. Where are you going? Oh, yes. Take cover. Point to my compass because you know... Oh, it's actually the first time someone's acknowledged the compass uh, enemy detection. Is there a workbench around here so I can start cleaning these knives? I doubt it. That's the medical wing. Uh, something tells me there's no workbench around here. Alright. Christine, I think it's time for us to part ways. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, so back to the fountain. Let's go and talk to Mr. Domino. No, because you know what they say. Nobody can stop Mr. Domino. Wow, that is a very bright sun blast. Didn't think much of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. What's the next step? Uh, have other people shown up in search of the Sierra Madre? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long. And they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. 
So the what happens to the people that, who come to the villa? Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. So the visitors all killed each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. So does everyone who comes through here get fitted for a bomb collar, or because it, it seems like whenever they show up, just bomb collars just immediately snap onto their necks. Any advice for getting through this? Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. I mean, I've killed them by the hundreds. Uh, these ghost people, they're the only ones alive around here? Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Have you tried? Have you tried to deal with them? Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. I'm surprised that no one's made like a sort of survival horror well, as much as a survival horror as this DLC is, but like a true, actual survival horror set, set like, here. Because it has grounds for, like, a pretty good, like, game. Uh, how tough are they? You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them... The ghost people don't go down. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. Well, I mean, uh, I got that. Any idea where they came from? Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no... If there is more between heaven and earth, oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Focus? Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Is there anything else about them I should know? Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, It'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. I, I could just see it. Imagine now. They just flood the streets. 
kind of turns into like 28 days later or something. Of course. I found one of your stashes. Why do you lead them around the villa? Why? Survival. I still need you to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course, you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Scrounge supplies? Like what? I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well... Here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Now, how do you make it? Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, then hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue. The cloud it might take residue. hardier survivalists than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. And with that, Dean has taught you the Sierra Madre Martini perk, allowing you to mix cloud residue with junk food in a tin can at a campfire or electric hot plate for a surprisingly strong, restorative, and disgusting drink. That's enough for now. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll... Actually, wait. Didn't think much of our chance. Uh... There's still more things we need to know. Uh... What are the... What are these vending machines all over town? Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola... Something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. I've never seen machines like these before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Grifters? Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. How did he describe it? Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. What other items can you get out of these machines? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Any idea where I can find these cards? Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. All right. It's your time. Uh, might as well learn a bit about the cloud. The cloud? Showed up after the bomb. I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Of course. Alright, well... What are you telling me about the villa? Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hangout. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. 
Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West town and east town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people, like hunting grounds. That sounds terrifying. All right, anything else I need to know? Uh, might as well know what he's good at. Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range. And over the years, I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'd shed a tear. All right, time to talk to Elijah. We get finally got the band together. What are you two uh, discussing? Something philosophical? Guess not. Uh, your companions actually do banter with each other while they're around the fountain. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Margaret, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open, as I've discovered. One person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. You're like flickering, it's giving me a mild seizure. You might want to ha have that fixed. How am I supposed to get to the markers on my map? I unlock the west and east gates to Puesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. Uh, what is this gala event? A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, and travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. Uh, what do you mean? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre, we're plundering history. Taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily. Not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. Alright, well, we'll head out then. Well, I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outline areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to me dead. Yeah, you're no use to me, period. So with that, we now have three new objectives we've got fires in the sky strike at the band and mix signals we need to get dog to the switching station in salida del sol get dean to puesta del sol south rooftop and travel to puesta del sol switching station with christine uh my best bet would be i say we go reverse in the way that we got in the companions we have to go to salida del sol to get to our position, so it makes sense to save Dog and God for last. So I think we'll take Dean with us and go to his position What's first. What's that kid floating above the fountain? The boss man, the one who put these bow ties on our necks, sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down, or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no? Know anything about this gala event that we're supposed to trigger? Wait. You know the hologram woman? Yeah, don't you? Or guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. 
Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Can you tell me about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Introductions? You knew her before? Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Vera Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Uh, according to the marker, uh, do you know anything about this gala event that we're supposed to trigger? Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Why? It's... Why, it sure is interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. <laughs> okay, that actually made me chuckle a little. The gala event's tied to this casino's generator? Right, look. So, not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. What do you mean about the broadcast? Well, Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, Instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? So it's not an invitation, it's a call for help? Yeah. The Sierra Madre's last song. One only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Alright, according to the marker, you're slated for a spot in Puesta del Sol. No, looks like a rooftop in Cuesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Any idea what he wants you there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination, lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. What about Christine? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but... Never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech. 
Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. I'm not following you. Odd man out, dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Yes, he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. Yeah, maybe he just doesn't want someone with uh, such great smarts as you do to, you know, try and outmaneuver him, which you totally will. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. All right, so Domino's active perk is... The Unclean Living Perk. This perk grants you a short period of time before taking damage inside a toxic cloud, as well as reducing the amount of damage you take inside the cloud by 25%. Useful if you need to quickly get through the cloud to either use a shortcut or just like take a load off from the ghost people. So he's got he's got an alright perk for him. I really would like to if you see a prize lying around. The ghost people leave supplies as traps. Good to know. Um, I really would like to know where uh, workbench is so I can get to work on cleaning these knives. I know there's one around here somewhere. I remember seeing like there was one inside a... Oh, there's Puesto del Sol. Is there anyone back here? <gasps> Ow, there's a bear trap back here. Let me just uh, fix that up real quick. There we go. Uh, boy. Don't see anything of value, but I'm gonna check real quick. Yeah, just some psycho and stim packs. All right, I guess it's a little worth it. And you can see how much uh, uh, Dean protects you from the cloud. Something tells me this is gonna be an ambush. No one just leaves two things of ammunition in a you first sure aid came box. A long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. I I was coming here in promise of a vacation. I, I've been in a war for about two years now. Almost three years. All right, this. Okay, who put this second bear trap here? Fix my leg, there we go. Just cut them off and just replace them. Robotics are the future. Uh, I wanna go to Puesto del Sol. I actually do wanna get uh, Okay, he doesn't have an arm, so he's good. I, I want to at least get Dean uh, to his position before we go and end the video. And maybe there's a maybe there's one in, in Puesto del Sol. We're going to be going there a couple times, so... If I don't find it, I'll definitely keep a look eye out for it in the other areas. So let's just get uh, Dean to his position quickly. And I don't know if we'll make it back to the fountain, or maybe we'll just send it off right after we leave him at his position. But one thing I do know, there are a lot of important goodies here. Also, did we just step into a Gears of War game all of a sudden? It's very brown. Oh god. Um, nice shot. Uh, Dean is actually... An Pretty useful companion to have with you. He's the only one that uh, uses a gun that has unlimited ammo. So that is always a plus, and those guys are definitely leading us to an ambush. Uh, let's see. Puesto del Sol Santa. Damn it. Oh, God. Uh, Dean, you might want to take a look behind you. Uh, just saying. Aim for his leg, shoot him in the head. That makes sense. I wasn't even, like, truly aiming at that one. Oh, God, he's got a bomb! Oop! I can't see. You're too on fire. Uh, 
Uh, just to be safe. There we go. I know I got the dog perk, but I guess just the fact that I'm able to search him says that I, I can... He's, like, truly dead. But I, it's better safe than sorry. Let's take a quick look around here, see if there's anything of value. I believe it was in Puesto del Sol South that has the... She is lovely this time of year. Oh, blooming and green. Are you being sarcastic? I think he's being sarcastic. Hello. I missed. Come on, vets. Uh oh. Every single time, it always finds a way to bank the shot right off into my face. I don't even know what that was. Was that either me or was that him? Eh, I'll take the gas bomb, I guess. Probably should also heal up. Um, I get... A couple stem packs, that's good. He wasn't kidding when they said this place is crawling with the ghost people. They didn't catch a word of that. Um, I got a knife. Does that count? Watch out if you see a prize lying around. The ghost people leave supplies. Well, what about that rad roach exploding? Was that prize enough? Oh, the switching station. Hmm. Might as well go in and see if there's anything in here. I doubt it. I think the only thing in here is death. And cloud residue. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing back here. You know, in before, I actually do have something back there that I need to get. All right. You know what? Time to bust out the heavy artillery. Man, this heavy machine gun is awesome. Ghost harvester. It's this, this. Sierra Madre is not getting any younger. Eh. It can, it can stand to wait a little bit. Especially when money is on the line. Ah, Puesto del Sol South. This is where we need to be, actually. Um, we need to make a note right now. Oh, God. Alright, as soon as I take care of these two. Dude has, like, the most constipated run I've ever seen. That is a terrifying sight. Uh, I need heavy artillery. Where is my grenades? Alright, fire in the hole. That got him. Just not very well. Alright, try on this. I don't even know how that bounced that way. I don't think, uh, I don't think physics likes me that well. But hey, level up does. Alright, time to see what I can pour stuff into that'll hopefully get me killed less. Alright, so, up to energy weapons to 70. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, we, I up melee weapons to 60. We kind of get down to the point where I honestly have no idea what to put everything else into. Uh, survival, I decided to just put one point into because it increases the hit points received from food and drink. So, you know, since I have to eat and, like, cook stuff to stay alive, it makes sense for me to put one into survival for the DLC. Oh, what a lovely little place. Watch out if you see a prize lying around. 
The ghost people leave supplies as traps. Is there anything of value? Is there like any tin cans I could make? I think I had the stuff to make a martini if I had a tin can on me. Let's look around all the stairs at you expectantly. Do you have anything I can buy? Let's see, fancy lad snack cave. Uh, I'll take the stim packs. And I do have actually some Sierra or no uh, pre-war money. Take it. Pre-war money. Take the energy cell. Keep it. Oh, I still wait. Yeah. Um. I have scrap electronics. Don't think I need duct tape for anything. No, why don't I have a chessboard on me? Four things in the Braxo. I guess I could leave a stim pack. There we go. Alright, so what all do I need? I say Ghost Sight, Cloud Kiss, Atomic Cocktail. Uh, where is these? I guess it would be down with S. Let's see. You are... Hmm. Where is that? Salad, fighting... Eat gecko armor, healing powder... Homebrewed Nuka Cola, Sarsaparilla, Hydra. Duh, 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 duh. Ah, the Sierra Madre Martini. So I need two th things of junk food and a just one tin can. If I can find a tin can in here, uh, no, that's pork and beans. Oh, there's a tin can right there. Is there any junk food in here? Or do I need to buy it off the hologram? Oh, there's a Rataway. Junk food, nice. Saves me the money. And I'm doing some more Braxo cleaner. Very, very nice. I shall make ourselves a martini. Gives us 75 HP, four endurance, and two strength, but tastes like hell. And head up to the second. I think that's just the aesthetic. For a second, I thought there was a ghost person breathing in here. It's like, oh no, not again. I'll take that. I'll take that tin can as well. Actually, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take any normal tin cans I have, just in case I come across more stuff to make the martini. Because I got plenty of ghost re uh, cloud residue. If I can find more junk food. I could make a whole slew of this martini. Asking, you shall receive. I don't like that heavy breathing. Let's see, that's pressed a little south. And this breathing has me a bit on edge. Is there any way I can like lay down to recover my health a little? Just a little? There's a first aid box with a stim pack, so I might as well use that. Excuse me, Dean. Alright, where have we landed? I think... I'm not gonna leave you here just running around the rooftops like I was Batman. Apparently, oh god. I'll save you, Dean! Maybe. Got him. And that was my first shot. My first and only shot! Alright, uh, follow the path over here might lead to what I'm ultimately trying to find. This is either gonna end very well or very badly. Oop! No, it actually it actually worked. Ooh. The fancy place we have in here. Uh, promotion. This place is a safety inspector's wet dream or nightmare. Foreman ended up taking the rail 
the fall of the teaching station last night broke out of it broke one of his legs and his neck but didn't die from it he bled out before anyone found him bad luck wasn't his shift no idea what was what he was doing down there but I'm surprised he fell and didn't have one of the platforms just collapse on him Wow bleak could really go for the thing I've been trying to get here Let's push the little north. I don't want to go north. I definitely want to stay in the south. And I think I might have screwed myself. Shit. That was the building I was actually supposed to go into. I, I made a bad idea. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I can fix this. Now, the thing that I really don't like about this DLC is if you're just, like, running through it and don't really know this, per se, um... The snow globes we've been collecting. There is actually a snow globe in the DLC! Shut up, Dean. Uh, there is a snow globe in the DLC that will... Well, I'm going to say right now. Once we complete the DLC, I don't remember if I said it last time. We're not allowed to come back here. So you can permanently screw yourself out of getting one of the uh, big collectibles that the that this game has to offer and of course it is like so out of the way and requires a huge ass jumping puzzle to get to it some people might think it's not worth it I'm somewhat inclined to agree with them oh wait also because I'm an idiot I didn't even see the thing down there also apparently I can't jump all up there it's good to know I can't see. Oop. Oh, brother. All right. I guess it was nothing. Anything down here? I know that there is actually a weapon mod down here. I think this is the weapon mod for the. Uh, the, like, the heavy assault rifle, or I guess the light machine gun. Can open that door, that's just aesthetic purposes. Up in here. Uh, from what I read, it's around a bunch of microfusion cells, so that's what I really want to keep my eye, eye out for. There's nothing in this place. Wait. The vent! Of course, you always have to hide drugs in the vent. Uh, which one is that, Dean, huh? Of course, there'd be a radio. Me without the Christine. Dean, was that really necessary? Where is it? 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 Shit. Alright. Let's try this again. There nice spot for sunning. Well, Oop. Good to know, game. Good to know. Wow, you don't say. All right, let's try this again. This time with less head explosions. I would like to know where that radio is. I also would like Dean to stop killing that poor little rat roach. Alright, well. When in doubt, blow it out. My ass! Think I might have gotten it? Yep, I definitely got it, alright. Ooh, what do we have done here? First aid box and the uh, locked terminal. This probably would have 
done the thing for the radios. Construction. No. Transmission? Makes sense. Less. Only took me three tries, but finally got it down. Let's see what this thing was. Activate holograms. Domino swam by today after the foreman's accident. Wanted to know how I was handling it. If the boys and I were doing all right, guys, a snake lying on, lying on the fake charm, laying on the fake charm, trying to be one of us. He asked if we were being paid as, as befits our skills. He said if we weren't to come see him, he'd set us up. If I'm not stupid, I've seen percentages I know when someone's making a killing off the corners were cut off the corners were cutting sounds like domino and construction are arm in arm don't matter to me as long as the cash gets left in my drawer every week hmm interesting 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 if I ever had to come here I stuck to the overheads and rooms like sidewalks uh, all right good to know Alright, let's see if we can find what I'm looking for. There's something. Demolition charges for the vending machines. That's... Alright. What's so funny? Well, if the sun ever touched you... Hmm. Hopefully I didn't explode. What was that? I just picked... I see a bunch of microfusion cells. It only mean one thing. Can I sit in the lounge chair? Ah, oh, don't get the lounge in it. That's dumb. Wine, all that stuff. Lots of wine. Uh. Where does a bed? Did I explode the the thing out of here? I hope I didn't. What was the charge that they know was um, getting? Microfusion cells all over the place. I think I might have exploded the. This crouching is hell on my knees. I know there's like a, there was like a code in here. Ah oh, well, I'll, I'll come back to this stuff later. If I, I will be coming back to this area, so I'll probably look it up in between then and now and see. For now, I kind of do want to just get uh, Dean over to his position. Hmm, interesting. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. We never went out through the second door in the cafe. Hold my beer. I want to try one thing, and then we're going straight to uh, Dean's station. I know this might be annoying at times. I keep contradicting myself every, like, half hour, every, like, five minutes. We're still in the south. Burn hole. Might have thrown it a little far. Okay, good enough. I'm not the only one that throws stuff far. Got him. I'll get right on that, Dean. Was this the right room that had the snow globe in it? I was fine. I'll take that, at, at least. I thought there was uh, writing on the wall over there. And neither am I, so you can hold your horses. We'll be there in a minute now. Uh, maybe it's not in here. I know it's like a hole in the wall that you need to get to through the rooftops. I figured that like something that's like tucked away back here would make the most sense. Wait, no, that was just. A lighting trick. I guess it's not in here. Uh, 
it's just a beer. Terminal. I don't really need more backstory. If you want to read it, and if you're following along, then by all means do so. I just uh, want to continue on. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar. Gee, thanks. That really helped my self-esteem. Did what you just said, Dean. Just state that right now. You're at the Ghoul Scaler area. Now make him stay. All right, I guess I inadvertently got Dean to his destination. So, this is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks? Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So, what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands, and tap them together like symbols? If reconnecting the speakers is part of the Gala event, then yeah. That's the plan. Are you going to be able to do it safely? Well, safely? Around here, that word doesn't come cheap. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? Uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. Um, if I could clear out the ghost people in the area, would you change your mind? No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and now everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. The villa has holograms everywhere. If I switch on some to cover the area... Well, yeah. If the hologram system still worked, that'd do the trick. Okay, all right. You call up some of those old world stiffs. That'd be an audience I wouldn't mind having below. All right, let me see what I can do. If I remember correctly, there should be two holograms you can switch on in the area. Just don't remember how. Do that. And I'll consider waiting on the rooftop. Maybe. Well, I mean, uh, we already technically activated one. So where is this damn... Uh, uh, snow globe. Snow globe. Globe of s white flakes. Uh, say do that here. Might as well go check the other hole that's over there. I don't think this is the right way to go. That leads to the cloud. That is definitely not the right way to go. I will take the first aid box stuff, though. Damn it, there I go with the rhyming again. Um, nothing there. Might as well head back at the way we came and check out what's in the other hole over there. Was that? Uh, it's just a bottle. Check the fountains. Might have some wishes for gypsy kids. Bobby pin. I mean, that's a wish come true for me. Oh, hello, security station. Activate the hologram. There we go. Nothing. This is gonna drive me up the wall. I'm just going to spend the rest of my damn life in this villa looking for a snow globe that probably doesn't even exist. Um, I end up all the rooftops. Ruin 
store. Wait. Didn't think much about ch unless you get some hologram. There's a hologram over in the courtyard below. You're covered. Unless he's got a friend. All right. Uh, let me hunt around. Maybe there's something I can do to protect the area. You can look all you want. I well, guess I ain't gotta go down either way. Something tells me that the hologram projector is inside the other is on the other side of that door. And me being the idiot that I am, just pretty much screwed myself and I have to find another way around to get to the damn door again. Great. Alright, well where was the store entrance? Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are loathing the bar. That's not the right way. Ah, there's the cafe. Maybe it was a ruined store that I need to go into, not the cafe. Was there, was there a terminal down here? No, there wasn't. Did, wait, what? Was there a terminal up here? Was the terminal that I passed by? Yeah, that was that was ho the hologram terminal. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete and total idiot. All right, Dean. Whoa. Dean, don't you dare push me off this rooftop. Well, didn't think much about. Both holograms are on now. It's safe for you to get to your position. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain if you had kept the ghost people away. But uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And I don't know, this still sounds risky to me. For me. Uh, Veer stay powered up since the bombs fell. The holograms will too. I'm not about to trade your life for mine. I definitely don't want to do that because that sounds like me being a dick to him. Don't trust me. Then trust our callers. I die, you die. If you don't do this, I'll shut off the holograms now. That sounds like a terrible idea. You must know me enough to know I'm not going to put you in danger. I mean, I guess this sounds like the best choice. Well, yeah, you got a point. All right, look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. And we just lost the unclean living perk. Hold the wires. Well, we just struck up the band. That's good to know. I want to check out that that ruined building. Damn it! All right, hold my breath. Going in. Man, Dean's like effect with the cloud is like night and day. All right, let's check out that ruined building uh, doorway and then after that we'll uh, how, how are we doing on time I I think we got enough time to get back to the fountain and grab Christine all right ruined store anything of value in here I highly doubt it you know what I'll sleep for an hour. There we go. Fully healed. Take those chips. Busted us all north. And 
locked door. Definitely gonna go for the locked door first. Hello? Don't mind me, just committing a little bit of larceny. Ooh, what do we got? Vending machine code, return outfit item. Got another one of those. Wonder if what those are for. Well, if we ever come across a vending machine, I definitely will look to try it out. I can't do anything with that door. That's a haunted bent tin can! Ooh! Damn it. Alright, just in that area. Just eat the right location. All that for the first aid box. No no code or anything, just a first aid box. Unless... Nah, they wouldn't be that evil. Or get some gum to go. More Brexel Clear. I, I, I think I've cornered the market on a Brexel Clear right now. No, the haunted ca tin can! Alright, well, this was a complete and total waste of my time and effort. I got spooked by a haunted tin can, and nothing of value was really gained from there. would like to know what a damn room that I need to find the stuff I was get trying to get is. I know for a fact I just missed something up there. Also, there is a buried ammunition box over here. I think I didn't recognize it. the mash. Alright. Well, there's one more thing I do actually need to go to. I need to go back up through here where the security stuff is. Because in between when my head exploded in that forgotten timeline and uh, me making my way back here, I found what was another one of the uh codes for the vending machine, which is actually the upgrade to the hollow rifle, which was around here. I thought it was the machine gun, but nope, it was a hollow rifle upgrade. I'd like to know where the damn stinking freaking snow globe is. That's nothing. Wait. Oh, you bastard. It's hidden over there. Wait, I banked the grenade off the wall here, and that still had enough force to take out that that radio? I'm impressed. That's a coffee mug. Got my hooks up too high. I definitely do want to grab the upgrade before we go. Just making one last round to make sure everything... I picked this area pretty much clean. I'll have to go back and look again to figure out where the... The snow globe is. I don't know. Or did I pick it up subconsciously and just didn't realize it? Let me check the miscellaneous real quick. No. I have not picked up a snow globe. This way that I need to go. What's also south, and I need to get to the top of the middle building. Hopefully this time I don't fail jumping puzzles. It should be right around here somewhere. I'll take that chip. There it is. Advanced calibration. How advanced is the calibration? Well, if we can find the thing, we will find out. It's gonna drive me insane. I'm gonna be staying up all night trying to figure it out. I guess for now, let's just head back to the fountain. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Knowing me, I did. Also, I'm trekking through this place alone. I know I killed all the ghost people on the way here. Well, most of the ghost people on the way here, but... Uh, something tells me they're, they're probably still a little peeved at me. Wait. Is that... 
the room we need to go into. Oh, uh, God. Wrong way. Definitely the wrong way. I want to find my way up onto that second path. I know I'm artificially just extending the video as much as I can. But you know what? You, you get a longer video to watch. I... There's a way up to the rooftop. Fine, I'll spare it. Maybe. Uh, there we go. Gala's this way. Cough, cough, hack. Performance key. Wait, this might be the room. Maybe. Possibly. I don't think think this is. I remember it was, it was like a just a tiny little room that had the thing. Also, I cannot get that that thing over there. Nah. Just story. If you want to read it and do it yourself, I just want to get this damn snow globe and get out of here. Caravaner, motorcycle helmet. I don't know how his face got munched off by a, a biker or a bear trap. I cannot see anything that is in front of me. Oh, that's the switching station. the where was the way to the south area switching station quest of the soul huh that just leads to the switching station all right well let's go the other way then everything's wavy and what that means change the flow to the gas through the pipe there we go, much better. Up in there. Hmm. There's a room over there. Shit! A radio. There you are. Mm. It's safe in here. I guess I'll see what's inside the safe. Maybe. Do it. There we go. Hardly anything. I actually lost more on that than I gained. Hmm. Hmm. I seem to be going hmm a lot lately. Starting to become my like go to catchphrase. Is that the room I'm thinking of? If so, how the hell do I even get in there? With the Super Mario myself under those pipes? Ah! 
And who leaves bear traps on the roof? Of course. That ah, crap. Damn it. Damn it. I think that's it. Can't really tell though. The cloud is way too. I think I might have gotten it. Is there anything that can. Grenade in the room seemed to work last time. Nope. And you know what? I'll come back here with Christine. I probably have a better chance with her and my party. Of course. There you are. Oh, God. I just saw my health. Anything. I'll take anything. It's a camera. Anything but a camera. Not even gonna bother with the safe. Don't see it's in here. Getting out. Oh, what is with all the cloud? Last chance. Ugh. Oh, that's to a ruined store, and this is to the bathroom. Screw it, vending machine. Let's let's see where is. Turn spring outfit. Oh, all right. You know what? All right, full advanced calibration. No, I did not want three of those things. Can I return them? Of course I can't. There goes most of my chips. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while, but returning once again, it's time for TBG to apply a brand new mod. Three of the same mods, in fact. Keys of the spread. Let's actually offer up a visual thing to it. Actually, I think it does. I think it added that whatever that little doohickey on the side is. I think that might have done it. All right, let's go grab Christine, and then I think it, it's going to end things off. We're almost, like, clocking in at two hours. What it was supposed to be, like, at most an hour and a half it turned into an added 20 minutes of me just kerfuffling around the in the cloud and I still haven't found a workbench yet actually you know what where are those mods at uh, the yeah get rid of those hollow rifle things nope you go over there you stay over there out of my way out of sight out of mind Christine! Or they didn't finish their work, or didn't know how to. Christine frowns, even though you can't tell it with the face oh, plate. Well, with the flash I shield on, how can I see anything? Might be able to rip the pit boy off his arm without killing him. Hmm. Alright, Christine, wanna get out of here? Christine looking at the fountain, her eyes narrowed. She scans the courtyard perimeter, gauging the distance. She glances at your wrist, then back at the fountain. You think he's using the pit boy to establish the projector's connection? She nods and raises her hand, palms facing each other, then rotates to the 180 degrees arc. 
Think he might be close then? Any idea where? She surveys the area, focusing upward. She glances at the casino, frowns, then looks west, then the east. Christine holds her hand and motions at your pit boy. Show her the pit boy, I guess. Christine studies the pit boy intently, turning your arm around and see your essential modules she just found. She doesn't seem interested in the screen. She studies the exterior, then casings. She seems to make sure. I guess I'll wait. Fingers stabs through the red buttons, narrowing on the, the local map. She scrolls to zero. Madre, she calls the local map and the plus it also switching station, zooms in her intent expression, losing some of its edge. She looks at Miyu, points the marker on your pit boy, points west, and tilts her head. Why do you think he wants me to go to the switching station? She frowns and makes a motion, typing at the keys. Then she points at you, raises her left wrist, and... Whatever. She points at you, then her, then looks right, then left, raises two fingers, try... Alright. Uh, neither Dean nor Dog had the technical aptitude to man the switching station. She slowly nods, looks impressed. I know how to impress other ladies with my smarts. Things would go a lot easier if you did one snap for yes, two snaps for no. She smiles humorously, then nods once slowly, then shakes her head slowly. She then looks at you, her face wrinkled in a humorless smile. Damn it! Okay, I can return to that. Uh, le let me let me just get a little perceptive of the situation. There we go. Okay, okay, I get it. Better than finger snaps. Her face wrinkles more, then gives a reluctant smile. A smile, now that's more like it. Truly the smile of this faceplate that I'm seeing. Still smiling, she rolls her eyes, then slowly taps the back of her wrist. You really need to relax. This entire place is a pre-war paradise, you know. She looks at you surprised and opens her mouth as if to laugh silently. And also standing at me, looking like she's judging me. Almost as soon as she utters a silent laugh, she stops. Look, we'll find a way to heal you, alright? She doesn't look at you and continues to stare darkly in front of her. The moment she realizes she glances at you, then taps the back of her wrist, she nods in face of her. Alright, Christine? Time to go on an adventure. Alright. How's the condition of your armor? Still good. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to end it off. We got Dean, and then we lost Dean. Uh, we got a couple of new things for the Hollow Rifle. Uh, we explored a little bit of Puesto del Sol South. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're hopefully going to be able to get uh, Christine God Dog to their stations and then possibly set off this Gala event. Something tells me it is going to end horribly. So, who knows? Maybe we'll make it into the casino. Maybe we'll be a bloody pump on the side of, of the street. Who knows? You'll just have to find out next time. Thank <laughs> you.